immortality has been a subject that was focused on since the dawn of history. As far back as we can trace. As far back as we can trace in terms of writing, in terms of other things. It's an interesting subject. Dying sucks. Uh, let's try to find a way out of that bullshit. It's a good way to organize masses, too, which I do like. I do like civilization. I like uh, controlling stupid people. You already know when monkeys go out of whack, they tend to fuck shit up for themselves and for other people. Come on, I'm an NYC nigga. I know this shit. This is a city full of monkeys that think they're really intelligent because... Television told them they are. And fuck television because of that. <laughs> fuck television because they want to convince New Yorkers that they're super smart and super intelligent. They're not. They're not. But in that movement for immortality, uh, we have found something really interesting, which is... The idea that the next step in human evolution involves us being cybergenically frozen and going to the digital world, uploading our consciousness. An interesting thing is that uh, this reminds me of Final Fantasy VII when Hojo actually does this to try to make himself somewhat of a god. And you already know. Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus sucks. But all the characters it introduced, I masturbated to all of them. Yeah, I have OCD like that. I tend to masturbate to any new chick I see in the realm of fiction. With that being said, and I know I disturbed some people when I said that shit, uh... <laughs> A lot of these people do tend to be marketers. Growing up is, in this world, the art of realizing that most people are trying to sell you shit. And by that logic, I grew up, I'm still growing up, but I grew up a lot quicker than most people. I can tell when I'm being scammed. I can tell when a teacher is telling me to apply to a class because it's going to be really fun and really interesting and really informative when in real life it's just a good way to tear out a couple of hairs that you probably needed in the first place and to stress you out for no reason that's marketing sometimes people market you jobs and turn out to be scams sometimes you get marketed bullshit and being try to get soul shit by your fucking family. Uh, people will try to sell you shit that you don't really need. And it's not always stuff. Sometimes it's time. Sometimes it's a piece of your sanity, a piece of your soul. But you don't do that shit. And my issue with a lot of trans humanists, there are some that I actually I am friends with, but is that, for the most part, these are guys, girls, that would choose any political wing, any political ideology to market their project to. Left wing, right wing, on Kabbalistan, fascism, uh, any ideology, anything. You could be fucking Barack Obama's centrist little follower, or you could be a wannabe Adolf Hitler. You could be a Jared Taylor white nationalist, or you can be a total of no nationalist, which does reach a new level of obscurity. If you don't, you never heard of that, then I don't blame you, but. The sky is the fucking limit, and they'll try to sell that ideology to anyone. And I respect that. I respect someone that can try to gain people. Pickup artistry is really interesting. 
game is really interesting, but it's not my style anymore. Use it sparingly, but don't become the next guy to get sold something that is more harm than good. As for the idea of actually being cybergenically frozen into a new era, a new time frame, a new world, somewhere on the internet, as long as it's not on Internet Explorer, because if that shit crashes and I'm stuck there frozen in time, that's really gonna fucking suck. Like, like it, maybe Max, because Max don't get viruses and I have to worry about my soul transforming into three old guys in their fifties butt-fucking each other. I don't have to worry about that, but... Then again, Macs suck. I have a Mac, I would know. There's always random glitches that happen, and they don't explain you how to get rid of it, because they don't fucking know, and that's how they keep you buying these new devices, and updating you and shit like that. So that hopefully the next one doesn't have the glitch, but it'll probably have a new one and get rid of a random one you probably didn't have. Computers suck. When I was four, I realized that death was inevitable and that it was confusing. And I'm still confused by it. And when I was four, I learned another thing that was really important. That computers fucking suck. No, seriously, if you don't know how to use them, they use you. They're inconvenient, they freeze, no one knows how to use them. Parents think that just because their kid knows how to go on Facebook that their kid's a computer whiz. But even if you know HTML, even if you know JavaScript, odds are you don't know shit about computers. I don't know shit about computers. When something is wrong with my computer, uh... If I explain it to somebody else, they're going to be more extremely dumbstruck by what I said. And I don't know shit on how to operate them. I don't know anything about fucking computers. I know more about physics. I know more about biology. I know more about anything else than I know about operating this fucking thing right here. So what does that tell you? It tells you that this shit is probably not for me. Uh, and if someone would try to market it to me because they know it's not for me, then what does that tell you about the other person? That the other person is a scam artist. And good people do fall for this shit, but it happens. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka 7. You already know to suck this dick. I've been telling you that since 2011. And furthermore, y'all better learn to respect the king.